What's up, you crazy people? Today, I am going to give you one last review of a Dapper fragrance, and I have officially left Dapper, and in this video, I will explain the reasons why I left Dapper and the reasons why I probably won't go back to Dapper. So, stay right there. Here's your boy DB. I'm about to take you behind the nonsense. So just a warning, I'm going to do the review first. If you don't want to hear the rant after this, uh, if you don't want to hear that video, you do not have to listen to. You can cut it off. I won't be offended. Uh, this is not a blast on Dapper. Uh, this is to tell you why I left Dapper. I just think some things need to be told. I've been asked too many questions. This is my way of telling people without having to answer 50 different messages at one time. Some people are already pissed off. They've already left Dapper and refused to buy any more Dapper. I can understand that. I'm not getting you as my subscribers to leave Dapper. If you choose to do so, that's on you. Um, I'm not here to bash Travis as a human being. I'm here to give you my explanation as to why I left Dapper. But before we get to that, let's talk about Dapper's version of The One by Dolce & Gabbana. Now, it, in my personal opinion, just, just in my personal opinion, I think this is trying to emulate this. This is my personal opinion. Um, <clears throat> I am not a huge fan of Dolce & Gabbana, the, the One EDP. Uh, I am a huge fan of the EDT. Well, I won't say huge fan. I'm, I'm more of a fan. I really don't like Dolce & Gabbana, the one, all that much, really. But I'm more of a fan and more partial to the EDT. I think it lasts longer and smells better. So let's get into this. So I'm here to tell you this is going to suck because of what I'm going to say after this. This this was something I had out. as you, If you could hear when I opened this up, it makes a lot of noise. My bed is right over there, so I put out my fingers 90% of the time at night of what I'm going to wear. Uh, I got up this morning and a shit storm hit my phone and already had this fragrance out. And um, sometime today, I told Travis that I was gone. So anyway, this to me, I don't like it. And I'm going to tell you why. And that's why it sucks that I have to do this review and have to say what I have to say about Dapper. This comes across so weak. And all the ones come across weak to me. I feel like the projection on this is better than the original, but it's still weak. Um, I don't get much of a projection out of it. What I would consider projection was two hours the longevity on this was six hours. That's all I got. That's usually all I get from um, Dolce & Gabbana's version of it. So um, this isn't a big hit for me. Um, I wish that I could have done some other ones um, before. I, I have Parfums de Marley Cologne that I really wanted to do. Uh, but it's just time that, that I left Dapper. And here are my reasons why. So... Before I start, this is um, Dolce & Gabbana, the one, in my opinion, the EDP version. Um, I give this a 6 out of 10, guys. I wouldn't personally get it. I know it gets a lot of hype, but just to me, it's just too weak, man. And I don't like weak fragrances. You all know that. So let's get into the reasons I left Dapper. So <clears throat> a little while ago... I personally had asked Travis if I could sell my wax using Dapper's cologne, and he said no, because of if he let he said it's kind of like a if he lets everybody if he lets me do it, then he have to let everybody else do it, and therefore he did not allow me to sell it, even though it was Dapper. That was going in. I wouldn't use anything else but Dapper's versions. He said no. I respect that. His company. 
He can do whatever he wants with it. It's his Facebook group. He can do whatever he wants with that as well. Um, so this morning I woke up around 3 o'clock in the morning. Somebody woke me up and I looked down at my phone to check the time. And I had a shit storm on my phone. A uh, real good friend of mine, I'm not mentioning any names in this, but Travis's name because he, he owns Dapper. <clears throat> but a friend of mine had hit me up about my wax and said, DB, would you put um, Dapper's version of mop tobacco in there? I said, man, I'll put whatever you want in there, man. You know, he's a friend of mine. I'll, I'll do whatever he wants. So he got the wax, which are phenomenal. I, trust me, I've had a Ventus on for three days. It's still going and it's still strong. Um, so he wanted to get on Dapper and I'll leave the comment up here, the post he put up here, I'll put up here. You guys can pause it, blow it up, read it, um, try to get it as big as I can saying, Hey, this is fire. And because of this wax, I'm going to purchase, I'm going to purchase a bottle of my tobacco from Dapper. Travis did not like that, said it was not Dapper related. And he took the post down. My friend then came back and asked why the post was taken down. There really wasn't no logical explanation. Uh, Travis did tell me uh, he booted the guy from there because I guess he, he wrote another thing asking people what do they think. And Travis didn't like people commenting and I guess try to keep the group civil. I don't know. Really can't, can't answer that part for Travis. Um, <clears throat> but my friend got booted from the group. And the post got taken down, and I was a little upset about that. Uh, the reason I'm upset about that, number one, is because there's another person in that group that sold T-shirts, okay? Even though they said Dapper Fragrances on it, and he, he even made mine, Dapper wasn't making no money off of that. That dude was making money off his T-shirts. But I couldn't make no money off of Dapper Fragrances being put in my wax. To me, it was a win-win. I sell my wax. If they like the way that smells because it was dapper, they're going to purchase the bottle. You understand what I'm saying? That's not how it was seen. But um, Travis used to promote our videos. He does not do that anymore. Travis used to watch all our videos. He doesn't do those anymore. We're out here taking the time out of our day to promote dapper fragrances okay at minimum and i know we get free colognes and i'm grateful for that it's not not a knock on that at all but at minimum we we need something back you understand what i'm saying if we're promoting your company but you won't promote us that's that's not that's that's give that's take 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 not give and take um i made a video some time ago about uh, not wanting to do reviews anymore. I had some things going on. I never heard nothing from Travis. So that automatically told me he did not watch any of my videos. I personally told him myself, I knew you wasn't watching the videos because I said that in that you would have been one of the first ones to contact me saying, don't do it. Okay. There's only so much you can keep giving and people keep taking in, in my per and just in my personal opinion, I felt like Travis has just gotten too, uh, gotten too big, and I'm not. I'm not saying that he's disrespecting us by any means. He's gotten too big, too fast, and he's ignoring all the people that have helped him get where he's at. Okay. I understand business. I've owned two of them. Both of them were extremely successful. I understand business. I've even attempted. I've even offered my help. Uh, Travis wanted to get into the waxes. I told him, send me the beads, send me the uh, things, send me the oils, I'll make them. But he'd have to pay me. I guess he doesn't want to do that. That's fine. That, that's his prerogative. But I, I'm constantly trying to help the company grow, um, and it just didn't happen. Now, the one thing that, that triggered me to begin with, and I will not mention names, I told you that, um, was a blends. Me and a certain other person who's a very good friend of mine, this is no knock on him whatsoever. I would never do that to my friend. Um, he came up with a blend. <clears throat> I reviewed it. Travis hit me up that night and said, "What do you think, DB? We ought should we, you know, should Dapper make 
this blend? I said, absolutely. A week later, that blend is out. I made four blends, four, and not one blend has been created by Dapper, even though people are calling for that blend to be made by Dapper. That person, as much as I love that person who created that, he didn't help this company from the ground up. It Rumor has it, EJ Wells from Happy Land Studio doesn't like TLTG. But because TLTG reviews Happy Land so much, EJ Wells created a fragrance for Ross Carlos. It's called business and appreciation, man. And I, we're, we're, it's just lacking. It's not coming back. I can only speak for myself. I don't feel like what I'm giving out is coming back in any way, shape, or form. And until... I really don't want to go back to Dapper. Um, I've been getting my phone blown up by people. Uh, a lot of people are going to be leaving. I, I can't change that. Uh, Travis did what he did. That's going to cause a reaction. I, I, I can't help that. I apologize for that. But when you do things like that, there's going to be a reaction to everything. So I wanted to let you guys know where I stood with it. Uh, this is my last Dapper review. I will not be reviewing any more Dapper. Um, I will remain friends with Travis. I uh, will keep that cordial. It will be nothing about business or reviewing. It will just be about friendship. I don't want anything from this point on uh, to do with Dapper. Uh, TLTG started off doing the same thing, and we all know where I'm at with TLTG. So I'm not going to, you know... Uh, get mistreated, get thrown to the side like I don't matter. That's not going to happen by anybody. So thank you guys for listening to me gab, gab a little bit. Thank you for the review. And tomorrow uh, we'll start a new journey. This DB. And I just took you behind the nonsense. Y'all have a good night. God bless.